So, town yesterday I picked up one of the uh, promo sets for the Pokemon trading cards game, just as I play a lot of Pokemon Go. And for some reason I have the only person in my family who does not play Pokemon Go with me for this video, me mum, on account of it's her birthday. Hello! Right, so first things first, uh, the set came with this rather nice whoop, badge, and of course I'm the Team Mystic because that, that, that my team. Diecast, rather fancy. Backing is a lot more interesting than I expected. So there's that. So, cards. I have read up online on the smart way of opening these. Because apparently opening cards is more complicated than it used to be. So, that. Tear this. Okay, and then flip this over. Take the code card and put it there, then count three off the bottom, put them there, then this one at the top should be the energy card, which it is. That's just a water energy. Now we can flip these over, and we're already starting with a rare candy. You wouldn't know what that is. No, I wouldn't. Okay, we now have camera up, which you also likely won't recognise. No, I don't. And incubator. A little eradicate, which you may half recognise. Yes, we've had them on those in our garden. Yeah, and we've uh, we've had the occasional rat issues. For context here, he is banned for life from the house. He does quite like Poldark though. Or uh, tranquil, which again you won't recognise. No, no. Lavatar, which is 50-50. Oh, he's holding a golden raspberry, that's cute. I like the artwork on these ones. Cute. Natu, which again, some nice artwork there. Amberpon, which again, you won't recognise. No, this is after your time. Wimpod, which, ooh. It's a shiny. It's a reverse hollow, I believe the term is. Well, the artwork isn't shiny, but the card is. Mm -hmm. And a lol neg. Okay. We're already starting off well here, I guess, with a lol executor V. I don't know what the V things are, because I don't know any game mechanics. Vegetarian. I should hope not. He is plant. Oh. It, it could be a vegetarian, but that's basically cannibalism. And is, is it though? Like, plants are divided in the same way that other animals are, and a human eating a chicken isn't cannibalism. So, like, who knows? Maybe. So, in case anyone plays the uh, live TCG. Here we go, here's your code for that. On the next pack. So, pack opening, what are your thoughts so far on this whole experience? It's quite nostalgic, to be honest. That's fair, that's it a fair description. Me of it. Paper shop. When the paper shop used to sell Pokemon related things last century, I think we're going back now. Yeah, for context, the paper shop has been replaced first with a bedding shop and then with the bloody good hairdressers. Wasn't there something else between. Betting shop and hairdressers, or I'm misremembering things. I don't remember the betting shop, to be honest. Yeah, there definitely was. Well, at some point. Okay, second pack then. As before. Flip it over. Take that. Three to the top. And the energy card is a fire energy this time. That means nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and put these under the heavy metal pin to keep them out of the way and be smart about this and already we have something useful with Zatu that goes with the Natu we got earlier this one you may vaguely recall No, I have no recollection whatsoever Fair enough, Pokestop, which thanks to me we live on top of Yes, I do yeah, I've go. nominated a local landmark that happens to be in range of the house, Slowbrogue you may recall Definitely I like this artwork too I dig that 
Lola Mertata, which goes right rather nicely with the other rat. Just reminded me about the rat again. Yep. <laughs> Regular wind pod. You can see compared to the, uh, actually I can just grab the earlier one, here we have Reverse Hollow Wind Pod and Regular Wind Pod. This one you'll recognise. Yeah. Pikachu! Pikachu! Pikachu is very cute. And it's being used as a buddy Pokemon here, because it's walking with someone. It's cute. I like the artwork for the Pokemon Go subline. Squirrel, squirrel. Oh. I mean, for those of you more familiar with anime, Squirtle will sound like that. For those of you that know the game, it sounds more like this. <laughs> I'll dub in some audio there to make it make sense. Ooh, Meltan. Nice. Meltan, of course, first revealed in Pokemon Go, a nickname Ditto Nut. Because it looks like a silver Ditto with a Hex Nut on its head. So, let's keep going here. Lapras, you may also recall. Yes, I do. And some kind of shiny Golisopod, which goes well with the two wind pods that we've got so far. That one's new to me. Yeah, Golisopod you won't recognise, it's from some of the more recent games. So for context, the mum is vaguely familiar through osmosis with Gen 1, but anything afterwards, less so. Alright, third pack then. And already we have Eevee. Right, so. Oh. Flip it over. Code card. Three to the front. I don't know what this is, but this is here in place of an energy card, I think. No? It's not... Good. Okay, let's just go and... The energy will be where it is. So we have Incubator. War Turtle. Pairs nicely with that Squirtle from earlier. Solrock, which again, you won't recognise. No, I don't. And Eevee. Whiny voice, which... That sounds... That, that, yeah. I can't disagree with that. No. Spinning Rack, you may or may not recognise. I do recognise Spinner Rack. And not from the corner of the bedroom ceilings. We've got a few spinner racks in the house at the moment. Yeah, well, they're beneficial. They keep bugs out of the way. Another wind pod? I'm tempted to try and build some kind of Golisopod deck at some point now. Another Larvitar? Numel, which. Yeah, I'm doing this. Reverse Hollow Ivy Saw. This is some nice artwork. And a goddamn melt metal. Nice. So I now have playable melt metal. I also just I don't know what the heck the V Star card is for. That does something, I guess. I don't know anything about the modern game mechanics, or indeed the game mechanics in general, having never actually played. So which one next, bottom row? Middle. Okay. And already we have a Bulbasaur. Okay, so. Flip it over. Live card. I'll just show all the code for you at the end. Three from the back, put them to the front. Low module. I like it. Charmeleon. Oh, Pubertar to go with those Lavatars. A uh, nice Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Onyx. Okay, so for re so the context, that one there is Smeagol uh, that photo bombs you in in-game photos. Sometimes you'll take a photo of one of your Pokémon, and this guy will show up and do that, basically. Oh, right. Which then spawns on in the wild, so... I appreciate that they included that. Slowpoke you'll recognise. Yes, I do. 
Bidoof. Which, yes, this is an actual Bidoof. The Bidoof and a few of the commons, there's a little icon in the bottom corner where instead of the rarity thing, it's a ditto. It can then actually peel it off and reveal it's actually a ditto card. Awesome. Oh, another Melmetal. Conkle Der V, that is probably quite good. And the Psychic Energy, that we got to take off at the start. Yeah, so we now have, I think, regular Hollow Melmetal and Reverse Hollow Melmetal. That's pretty cool. So, left or right? Left. Yeah, there'll probably be more pack openings to go, because my goal is to uh, collect them all, basically, and get all 78 cards from the Pokemon Go set. This binder that I picked up yesterday happens to hold 90 cards, but it works out quite well. So, here's another code for anyone that cares about that. Three to the front. Energy card is whatever that is. I don't remember that one. Ooh, and it has Spark, one of the trainer NPCs. He's one of three faction leaders, but not mine. We then have another War Total, a Stop, another Natu, another Amber Pom. The rat's back again. No, not again. Ah, Lavatar, the rat yet again. Reverse Hollow Charmeleon, and Shiny Blastoise, nice. So, last pack. I know nothing about card rarity, but I feel like, given that I've got, like, the two V ones, whatever they are, that I'm doing well here. I don't know, someone who actually knows about these things in the comments, please feel free to correct me. Okay. And... There's the code. Directly back to the front. Energy here is another whatever that is. And we have Trainer Spark again. We have a Chansey that you will recognize. Oh, Chansey's nice. I don't get a jigglypuff. Delicious egg. Easter egg. Delicious egg. Easter egg. The Searing Egg. We have Steelix, <laughs> which pairs nicely with the Onyx from earlier. Another Ampon. Another Slowpoke, another Lavatar, an Apom at last, dodging. This is accurate, Apom feels weirdly difficult to catch. Like, more so than he should. It's cute. Another Speed Ray. Oh. Radiant Charizard, which is shiny. You can only have one Radiant Pokemon in your deck, apparently, which would be this guy if I were to build. A deck for that, and Blissey in its natural position defending the gym with its enriching egg. So, that has gone fairly well. I will also I'll sort through the cards a little bit later. I'll go for the binary just to put them on number order. And for the sake of completeness, let's just also show off currently in the back. I'm keeping promos for this thing. The card for uh, the full art version of Blanche that came with this set. Actually, let's just uh, pull her out of the patching there to show, show it up a little better. Camera, can you please focus? There we go. Hopefully, some of this is in focus. I don't trust the camera anymore all of a sudden. We'll see. So, thank you for watching. This has been Lucas Builds. I've got a lot of cards to sort now. Mum, do you want to say anything? No, I need to go blow up my candles. Goodbye. Fair enough.